The release date for Season 5 and the MCC has just been announced, but it comes with that season and how to prepare for it. Well, in this video, we'll go over everything, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, tap subscribe. Keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo as we wrap up the Halo Infinite. And yes, the long awaited season five release date has just been announced. This season comes with 80 new pieces of armor, brand new weapon skins, as well as seasonal challenges with four unique rewards offered within those challenges. When you hear 80 pieces of armor, you're like, Oh my God, my mind is about to blow. How much armor can I customize with? Well, let's take a quick look at it right here in the MCC on PC. I'm sure you're probably really looking forward to what's available for Halo 3. And there actually is some new options we've never had before within a Halo game. Now, obviously you can customize the helmet. A lot of these new armor sets are actually armor sets from Halo Online, as you can see right here. And some of them are pretty cool looking. Some of them are kind of weird looking like that one, but overall, like some of these are pretty cool. Um, there is going to be a toggle option that's going to be coming for Halo 3, I believe specifically as I know a lot of people are not huge fans of these new armor sets coming in to the MCC. Personally, I am, so I'm really looking forward to having this come in for more customization options. I mean, it's pretty cool. I think it, I mean, it definitely matches the art style that was around for like Halo 4 and a little bit of Halo 5 as well. So it's pretty cool to have the options that you can kind of blend the old school and the new school armor sets together. And when I was talking about brand new armor sets we've never had before, you can customize the lower arms now. Now you can only customize with the new armor sets that we have, but like honestly, like that right there kind of matches with like the old art style in my opinion right there. But it just looks really cool and it's really awesome. You can customize the lower arms now of your Halo 3 Spartan. Now it's just one armor set and it goes on both arms. You can't customize e each arm Maybe in the future you can, but who knows? But also Halo Reach is getting some love. As you can see from all the hearts flying or fluttering around here, <laughs> the Halo Reach is getting some love too for new armor sets as well. But these actually do match the art style. I think it was actually just more cut content or just more options that are already there for Halo Reach. It's just a couple of things right here. You scroll down to the very bottom right here. You have the Mariner variants right here, where you might have seen some of the pictures I've made or videos I've made showcasing some of the uh, the Mr. Chief helmet. Uh, this is probably going to be the, my main helmet I'll be wearing in Halo Reach. I love this helmet so much. It's incredible. And you also have kind of like this weird goggle. I know one people are really excited about is the Akis armor set, which is actually going to be the classic old GRD helmet that I know a lot of people have been wanting for Halo for a long time. This was actually cut content back in Halo Reach. It was part of promotional material for, I think, I believe the Defiant map pack, if I remember correctly, but uh, never made it into the game. But now here it is. Boom. You got, the, you got the good old GRD helmet, which is going to be awesome. You have a lot of customization for the chest piece now, as you now every chest piece, I believe, now can do the robotic arm, which is really great. Uh, you have the UA armor variants right here for the chest piece, new armor set right there. Uh, you have the EXO chest piece right there, brand new armor set that's never been in MCC or Halo Reach before. I believe that was also cut content. Looks great. Great to have it on there. Just basically, it's just right now for Halo Reach, you're just getting more options to do all the cool stuff that you love doing for customization in Halo Reach, which is great. And I think that's going to be a feature for MCC moving forward this year, just giving players more of what they want. We have more things coming for Halo 3 as well. We have a bunch of weapon skins coming into the game and vehicle skins as well. We have the Mongoose. Boom, look at that. You have a cool new Mongoose you can have right there. I mean, that looks pretty sweet. I wish I had more variations in the game, but sadly enough, that's all we have right now at the moment because of vehicle skins, but weapon skins Oh boy, we got a lot of weapon skins coming in, guys. We have the new battle rifle skins. We have the Great Journey, Desert. We have a gold battle rifle. I know a lot of people are really excited to have a gold battle rifle finally in Halo MCC. And we're finally getting that in Season 5 right there. You can scroll through and see the other ones. I actually really like the Scarlet Thorn weapon skin for the battle rifle. I might be rocking that one a little bit more. And also the Hunter Blow, which is just right there. Got some new sniper ones coming in as well. I believe this Avalanche one is just for completing rank 20 when it comes to Recon Slayer, but maybe for when the Battle Pass comes in for Season 5, you'll be able to unlock that, which is going to be great. Look at that. Red Alert. Dude, that looks slick right there. Oh my god, that looks awesome. And then the Hazard Pay kind of reminds me of like the Norn Fang in a way, so that's pretty cool right there. Got some new options right here. We have the uh, Hazard Pay for the Rockets, Assault Rifle, Desert, Hazard Pay. 
You also have the Magnum, which comes with hazard pay and tech ammo. But the SMG with a bunch of new ones at the Art of War. You got a gold version, which is great, as well as the Scorpion, which actually might be the one I'll rock. I just like that black and green. It just looks super clean. They have a bunch of other ones coming for like Covenant weapons as well, but they're all just kind of like the same thing we've seen for CE, where they kind of just make it blue or make it green or make it gold. Like the Plasma Pistol, Gold Plasma Pistol does look pretty awesome, not gonna lie, but they got a green one here as well. The Keeper right here for the Plasma Rifle. This might be my favorite one as well. I'll probably be rocking this one. Just having those lines, just like very minor variations makes a huge difference. You also got the Splendor right here for the Carbine as well. So a bunch of just different customization options you can have right there, which is great. Now you're probably seeing all the new armor sets and stuff like that. You're probably going, oh my God, this looks terrible. I don't want it. Just give him my classic Halo. That's all I want. Well, you'll be able to do that as well as Big 4-3 did confirm that the toggle option will be coming in to MCC. So if anyone's wearing some new armor set that comes with season five, what you'll be seeing then is them just in standard Mark VI armor. Before I didn't think that was necessary, but now that we know that the classic games on the 360 are going to be sunsetting at the end of 2021 there should be some kind of preservation option right there for the mcc we have some seasonal challenges as well oftentimes is offer unique customization options maybe like a new weapon scan or something like that that we haven't seen yet maybe that'd be dropped into here or maybe some new nameplate or something to kind of show off that you've grinded out something within the season of that year to unlock i mean previously we had a skull attached to the seasonal unlock so maybe some new stuff coming in that way ultimately this all drops on January 27th is when season five is going to be releasing for the MCC. Now you're probably wondering, oh gosh, 80 armor sets, all these new weapon skins, how many season points do I need? Well, we know that MCC is going to be getting new seasons every two months. That means that with the challenge system, generally you'll be able to get five season points for PVE, five season points for PVP every week. So 10 total, meaning that it'd be of eight weeks, meaning that grand total being 40 seasonal points available for you to grind out for that season until a new one comes in. Now each season stays, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I have a feeling that they'll probably kind of group these armor sets together. Like you unlock maybe the chest and armor for and headset for you know, hive mind and then the legs come in later or something like that. Lots of times they like to group these together so you won't need a whole lot. I'd probably assume 50-ish seasonal points is what you're going to need to unlock everything in season five. So this is why you want to save your seasonal points, grind those out, and just try to play as much Halo as possible to get those season points ready. Right now, I have currently, I have 64 seasonal points, so I have a feeling I'll be able to lock everything, but we'll just have to wait and see until the season comes around. When it actually does, I'll make a video about it to show you guys everything, how the battle pass works. So I'll see you guys all on January 27th. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to catch up with any news you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and information on the video if you missed anything recently. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.